Jack from BT McFarland, and today we're going over some of the things that make an economy tractor an economy tractor, and if it's something that you should consider next time you make a purchase. So let's get into it. If you've been doing any research online, you've probably heard the term economy tractor or value tractor. So every single brand has two different classes of tractors, whether that be their premium deluxe tractors or their value tractors or economy tractors. So today we're gonna go into some of the features that actually define this and what to look for when you're shopping around for a tractor to see if getting one of the more deluxe tractors is best suited for you or if you can forfeit some of the extra features and go with this value tractor. The most popular economy or value oriented tractor that Kubota makes is the L01 and L02 series. This right here is the L3902 and how I like to describe economy or value tractors to some customers is that it takes away all the features you don't really need in a tractor and we're going to see that today. It doesn't have any bells and whistles, fancy this or that, but what it does give you is it gives you a lot of tractor for your money. So this L3902, it takes away some of the features like LCD screens, armrest, a couple comfort features up on the operator's platform, but it does give you a very large tractor, a very robust tractor for your money. One of the most common ways that manufacturers save money on these value tractors is in the actual loader of the tractor. It starts right up at the bucket, so a lot of these economy tractors, they won't have a quick attach system like a skid steer style quick attach. They will be a physical pin on bucket, but we don't bring any tractors into this dealership with a pin on style anymore. Every single one of them, whether it be the premium deluxe models or the economy models, they all come with a skid steer style quick attach system or on larger farm tractors, they could come with an aloe style quick attach. Another cost saving measure on these loaders is the valve system. So if you look at the LX2610, for example, I'll cut to a video here. The loader stick is actually tied into the tractor itself it goes underneath the floorboards and comes up beside you in an ergonomic position or if you look at the l2501 or the l01 series the loader stick is actually attached to the loader itself so it doesn't go underneath the floorboards it hangs right off of the loader in a forward facing position this is a huge cost saving measure that manufacturers do take when they're manufacturing their loaders but if this is something that doesn't really concern you, you don't mind reaching forward a little bit in order to use your loader, then this could be a really good cost saving measure for you. Now we're going to talk about where most of the value options are on an economy tractor is going to be on the operator's platform itself. It starts right up on the screen. So right here you have a pure analog screen on an L3902, where if you were to go with the more deluxe LX series, you're going to have an LCD screen here that actually shows you a whole bunch of information where right here, all it really shows you is your fuel gauge, your RPM, as well as your temperature of the oil. But looking down a little bit further, you're gonna see some other features that do make it an economy tractor. The steering wheel, it doesn't tilt on it. So it is a fixed steering wheel, where on the LX series, it will be able to move uh, up and down towards yourself. Looking down a little bit further, you will notice the floor. It does have a rubber floor mat now, which is a really nice addition. If you do get the L2501, it does not have that rubber floor mat but you'll notice that there is a hump in the middle of the tractor. So if you're an older customer who doesn't want to put their legs over top of this fairly large hump, it's about six inches tall, then the LX tractor, it's a completely flat floorboard, which makes it a little bit nicer to operate. Moving back again even further, you're gonna notice that you do have no armrest on your seat. This is an option that we nearly send every single uh, one of these L02, L01 tractors out with but they don't come with them from factory. And you're gonna notice that there are a couple missing levers here on some of your economy tractors. These are gonna be stuff like speed control, cruise control, other rear remotes. So some deluxe tractors like our L60 series, they do come standard with rear remotes, but these ones do not. So you're really just gonna have your three range as well as your three point hitch control in terms of levers beside you. Mechanically, these tractors are almost identical. Whether you're looking at this Value L01 series or the LX series, mechanically, they're gonna function very, very similar. 
Both of them are going to be hydrostatic transmissions with four-wheel drive and a rear differential lock. But what really separates these tractors is the ability to order them in in a manual transmission. So this tractor is already a very good value. But if you wanted to even lower the cost a little bit more, you can order it in a complete manual transmission. So if you're used to shifting gears and you do want that style of tractor, you can order it in this. Now we're taking a look at the back of the L2501 and looking at some of the things that make the three-point hitch a little bit more cost-effective on an economy tractor. The first one is going to be the turnbuckle style system to adjust the width of your three-point hitch. On a more deluxe tractor, you're going to see a pin system here. This one, it's a little bit more basic. You're just going to take a wrench and adjust the width that way. The next one being the fixed side links at the end. On a more deluxe tractor, again, you will see a telescopic lower link. So when you get bigger tractors, the implements become very, very heavy. So hooking up the three-point hitch implements, it becomes a bit of a chore. So these fixed ones, they do make it a little bit more difficult to hook up three-point hitch implements. The other thing you're gonna notice back here, like I mentioned up there, Rear remotes, they are not standard on these tractors. Once you get into the L60 series, that's when you start seeing them be standard. I want to look at the back of this L6060 for comparison on the three-point hitch. You're going to notice some of the things that I said, the pin style system that adjusts the width of your three-point hitch, as well as your telescopic lower links. And another thing you will see is the rear remotes that do come standard. This one has a third set installed. They do come standard with the two sets. Another thing to note about some of the more deluxe tractors is the setup of the actual three-point hitch. You'll see there that the lift rods or the lift cylinders that actually raise the three-point hitch are external from the transmission case. This makes it a lot easier in terms of maintenance. If you ever had to replace one of those, they're really easily accessible right on the outside of the tractor. Where on some more economy tractors, say your MX or your L01 series, those cylinders are internal to the transmission case, so it makes it quite a bit more difficult and a little bit more costly to actually get in there and change those cylinders. The next thing you have to look at when you're shopping around for an economy tractor is the type of tire that it comes on. A lot of the time, it's not going to come rolling with an R14 or an R4 tire. It'll come with an R1 Ag tire. These are a cost-effective tire that are really good in certain applications because they're really narrow and they have a lot of traction. So if you're in the deep, dark woods or plowing the fields, then this could be a viable solution. But if you're working on nice, finished property or you want a little bit more traction in the wintertime, then upgrade to a more expensive tire like an R14 or an R4 or even this Nokian snow tire on an L6060 would be a very good choice. That pretty much wraps up today's video and I just wanted to say a couple things about economy tractors. They are very value oriented tractors and like I said before they do give you a lot of tractor and a lot of power for your money so it is definitely something to consider when you're shopping around for a piece of equipment. And that's not to say that you're completely limited to the things that you get when you purchase the economy tractor. A lot of the features that we talked about, the skid steer quick attach on the front, the different tires, and some of the features on the three-point hitch, like your telescopic link arms and the pin style system to adjust the width, as well as the rear remotes, they're all options that can be added down the road. So if you really like the size and the power of the tractor, but you want to add a couple things here and there, you can customize it a lot more to how you like, where when you get the deluxe tractor, tractor like an L6060 or the LX2610, you do get all those deluxe features from factory and you are paying for them. So if you're the kind of person that wants to pick and choose what they get on their tractor and customize it a little bit more to their liking, then looking at your L01 series, your MX series and your M7060 series, then those are really good options for you. And as always, I just want to thank you for watching. And if you're liking the videos, remember to subscribe. And if you need help with parts, sales or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.